It's been a while since I've done a commentary video, but there is something I want to talk to you about. Let's do this. Hi everyone and welcome to Pal to Tech. A few days ago, an article appeared on Petapixel titled, I made a mistake and gave my photos away for free on Unsplash. The author of the article, Marcus Platt, decided to publish his images to the free stock photo download site, Unsplash. I'm sure many of you have heard of Unsplash, and I'm sure a few of you have very strong opinions about websites that allow a photographer's images to be downloaded and used for free for both commercial and non-commercial purposes. So, Marcus uploaded a few of his photos to Unsplash. According to him, he wanted his work to be seen and appreciated. And just so we're all clear on exactly what Marcus agreed to, here's the exact terms of service that you agree to whenever you download a photo from Unsplash. I pulled these screenshots on October 22nd, so if you see them looking differently, that means that Unsplash changed them since this video was made. All photos can be downloaded and used for free. You can use them for commercial and non-commercial purposes. No permission needed, though attribution is appreciated. Now, a few days after Marcus uploaded his images, he started to see them appearing on various websites. And I'm sure that dopamine started to roll in as he saw his work being published. And if you're someone that takes photos as a hobby, why wouldn't you love that, right? Then he saw his photo appear on the Condé Nast Traveler website. You know, as in Condé Nast, the global mass media company founded in 1909. Well, they used his photo in an article and then, you know what, let me just show you. Okay, here's Marcus's photo that they used. And note that they, in fact, did give him credit. You see that right there? They they also place their own advertising right above the photo, which I presume that they sell for profit. And then the article appears below his photo. You see that? Once Marcus saw this, it started to bother him a lot. And then he saw other images on the Condé Nast website that were taken from Unsplash as well, and some that were published without giving the photographer any credit or attribution whatsoever. Well, it bothered him so much that he actually deleted his Unsplash account and issued a full-blown apology of sorts to all photographers. You see, he felt that by doing what he did, you know, making his image available on a site like Unsplash to provide for free, he effectively may have denied a sale to a professional photographer. In other words, there are plenty of stock photography sites where companies like Condé Nast could go and pay for stock photography. But since Marcus's image was on Unsplash for free and without restrictions, why bother? And companies could just go and download it. First off, there are equal and valid arguments both for and against making your work available online for free. And I am not going to debate them here, but I'd actually love to hear what you think about it in the comments below. I want to tell you my problem with Unsplash as a company, and that problem is right here in their terms of use. No permission is needed, but attribution is appreciated. The fact that Unsplash doesn't require attribution as part of their download terms bothers me. Unsplash and sites like Unsplash, I'm not just picking on them, are in the business of making money off of people like Marcus uploading their photography to the site for free. What I'm ticked off about is that by doing this, Unsplash gives off the impression that they have such a low regard for the value of photography and photographers in general that they specifically chose to use this dumb, cutesy, though attribution is appreciated, exclamation point, that they chose to not require in any way any form of mention, attribution, or credit to the photographer in order to use the photo for free. Of course, look a few more lines down at what they are damn well clear is not permitted. Compiling photos from Unsplash to replicate a similar or competing service. Basically, you sure as hell cannot use these free photos if you're gonna make a service that competes with us. They sure as hell didn't get cutesy on that one. But now I hear you say, what's the point of putting 
putting an attribution requirement in there since so many people may ignore it and not credit the photographer anyway. I mean, what good would it actually do? Think for a minute what a bank does with an ATM card, right? You get an ATM card and you get a PIN number, right, that you can use to get money and take money out of the bank. Can the banks prevent someone from giving their significant other their ATM card and PIN? No, they can't. But what they can say is that you are responsible for your own ATM card and we are standing by that. That is our policy and that is the behavior that we expect you to follow. We do not condone the sharing of ATM cards because we believe it's not secure. By having a policy for this, even sometimes an unenforceable policy, you're making it standard practice that the photographer should at minimum be credited if they're not receiving financial compensation. And not only credited, but a link to their website or portfolio should also be required if an image obtained from Unsplash for free is used on a website or other social media service. At the very least, they could put a little toggle switch inside the account information, right, where you manage your account, so that if a photographer uploads an image to Unsplash, they could toggle that switch and require attribution be made if one of their images are downloaded for free. Crediting a photographer, while simply no replacement for paying a photographer, at least provides the lowest common baseline of value and recognition that you can give to a unique piece of artistic work. And frankly, requiring the author of that work's name be attributed to it is the bare minimum, least amount of effort Unsplash could make on their end. We don't have this situation in music. As an art form, music is so much more valued and taken seriously than photography. You try and use a few seconds of music in your video or published online work, and you will have the men in black banging on your door at 3 a.m. No kidding, they've got that locked up and heavily, heavily protected. But photography sites like Unsplash get away with the cutesy little lemonade stand language because photography is becoming habitually cheapened in today's society. Photography has value. Photography can tell a story. Photography can move you. Photography can change the world. I want you to take a look at this photograph right here. This won the Siena Photo Awards of 2021. Yes, photographers create value and meaning. Thank you so much for listening, and I would love to hear what you think. Let us know in the comments down below, and I will see you again very soon. Take care.